can't believe we didn't find God in Jerusalem. Well, we'll have to keep looking. Oh, here's our bus to the airport. <laughs> wow, that was super loud. Well, Lois, I happen to be a Muslim now, which means I'll be spending a lot of my time in mostly empty cafes watching soccer on an 8-inch black and white TV. Peter, this is my friend Omar. He can teach you many things about our faith, including how to ululate. What's that? It's this. Oh my God, that's terrifying. I don't know if I'm ready for that. No, Peter, it's okay. Just sing the beginning of La Bamba, but don't say the La Bamba part. Oh, okay. La, 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 yes, good job. You're doing it. Bamba. Ooh, so close. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Mahmoud. You know, I actually feel really bad for him. You know he knew 19 guys who died on 9-11? I mean, what are the odds? Peter, I think you joined a terrorist sleeper cell. I'm going to call Mahmoud right now on this cell phone he gave me. He'll tell you. Damn phone's busted. Now drive! <laughs> Okay, you're good to go. We'll go celebrate at the clam. That's a great idea. Yeah, I think we could all use a drink. Tell you what, let me call Horace and tell him to get our table ready. Peter, did you just... Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Allahu Akbar! Get home before Stewie gets hurt, like Fozzie Bear when he went to Saudi Arabia. Uh, it's good to worship Allah, because I used to worship Summer. Waka waka. <laughs> I once knew a guy who was so Arab. How Arab was he? Uh, he was so Arab that everybody liked him, and there was nothing funny about him at all. God, you've missed so much. Like when America was attacked by mentally challenged suicide bombers. Allahu Akbar! I'll be with Allah soon. What? Uh, yeah, he doesn't know what he's saying. He's delirious. Look, you better get moving. All right, Stewie, let's go get the sleigh ready. Is anyone else a little freaked out by that Allah thing? Never mind that. Let's just get going. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. And I'm Joyce Kinney. Our top story, Quahog prepares to unveil a new statue commemorating perhaps its greatest hero ever. That's right, Tom. It was ten years ago that an almost inconceivable plot to destroy the World Trade Center was thwarted by Quahog's own Brian Griffin. This amateur video captured Griffin's heroism in the face of a shadowy terrorist organization called Holy <laughs> Look at all those vowels. al Qaeda. Here, make sure you get all this. Time to terrorize the terrorists. Ugh, you prepared catchphrases for yourself? No, not necessarily. <laughs> Mohammed Atta stayed home. Nobody knows that guy's name yet. You're using information that nobody knows. Houston, we have a solution. Houston's for space, not everyday air travel. Tell him to ground every plane out of the East Coast. Seacrest out. <laughs> Wow, what a hero. Coming up next in sports, Arizona Cardinal Pat Tillman, tackled by his own team. Oh, Brian, we're so proud of you. Yeah, buddy, great job stopping those terrorists. And thank God their follow-up attack on St. Louis was a bust. We missed! Thanks, Mom. Did I do good? Can I wear Grandpa's jacket now? I, I don't know why you always ask for that. That's, that's not a thing in our family. But we should get you a haircut and clean this house up. The dance is in a few days. Yeah, I wish I could help, Lois, but I'm a little busy being an Uber driver now. Wait, are you the one who took my car? I reported it stolen. Ah, oh, well, that explains that high-speed chase yesterday. Brian, you caused a man to be run over in a phone booth. What was a guy doing in a phone booth? Why, waiting for drugs, of course. Hey, uh, Stilts, on your way out, could you get a wiffle ball out of our gutter? It's been up there for like three months. I threw it at a bee. Why do you have a will on here? When you die, we bury you in the garden so we get better tomatoes. We now return to CNN's continuing coverage of the rescue of Guy Fieri's toilet. What you're looking at is live footage from Guy Fieri's house where this toilet's 12-year ordeal has just come to an end. Toilet, what was it like after he ate those dragon chili cheese fries? Look, I can't talk right now. I just need to get something solid in me for once. Really? How could my own parents do this to me? I'd be better off with Mr. and Mrs. Aguilera. Okay, so we'll name it Michael if it's a boy, and Christina if it's a nightmare. We now return to Finding Your Roots on PBS. 
So, Danny DeVito, what do you know about your heritage? Not much. Our family photos were all burned in a fire. I think we came from Sicily. Well, we have a surprise for you. Your great-great-grandparents were a pumpkin and a hamburger. They're beautiful! I can't believe this! I'm made of the best fillings of ravioli! Oh, crap, I better get out of here. Here comes CSI Missouri. Looks like someone done dang got himself killed. Well, I reckon one thing. Somebody's going up the river. The mighty Mississippi. Hey, I was thinking of heading down the river. You want to go halvesies on a raft? Sure, but can you spot me? I've never been paid, ever. Yeah, I got it. Okay, it says Armin is arriving with our raft right now. You Huckleberry? All right, Lenny, this looks good. Now, the trick to getting off a moving train is waiting for the exact right... Ow! Phew. Now I know why that railroad was called the B and O. It stands for Baltimore and Ohio! Whoa, calm down. No, mental defectives know a lot about trains! I'm saying I'm done with you. Now go take the bus home with the rest of the poor people. The bus? Ah, I was aiming for the church. God angry now! Ay, 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 ay! Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. Coming up, a boom shadow from the sound guy we can't fire because his wife died. There it is. But first, Quahog says goodbye to an old friend. Oh my god, I just got four more matches! This is amazing! This is the greatest invention since the firecracker! Gentlemen, after many years of research, we finally did it. We've solved the problem of too many fingers in Florida. Okay, kids, we're gonna start practice as soon as I get that guy out of here. I'm 60 yards away! <sighs> Alright, I, I guess if a loose ball goes over there, just don't go. This whale's beached himself! He needs to get back in the water or he'll die! Step aside, I'll handle this. Give me some room. Your whale come. <laughs> oh, cool shell. Ah! Okay, that is the last time you are gonna pull that crap. Ah! You hear me? Yes. Do you hear me? Ah! Yes. Ah! Ah! Now you are gonna hold down that football until Charlie Brown kicks it. You got that? Go ahead, Charlie. What do you want, Griffin? Angela, look out your window. You see that Anheuser Busch billboard next to the children's hospital? Well, watch this. Oh, God. Oh, my God. This is horrible. Oh, God. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, good Lord. Save them. Bless their li Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. There we go. All right. Everything worked out. And everyone's just standing around doing nothing, like the whole world during the Holocaust. Too true. Never again. Okay, now we've earned this gag about an anti-Semitic pigeon. Ugh, my allergies. And everything else. Just terrible. Choo, 
All right, let's go. What should we leave for a tip? The food and service were both great. Give him the full 3%. Cheep, cheep, cheep. Cheep, cheep. This is why I hate going outside. <laughs> that was hilarious. And again, the global community's inaction during the Holocaust was unforgivable. Oh, man, this toothpick is the best. I'm not going anywhere without it. Like Batman and his futility belt. I can't get these locks open. Don't you have something in your belt? Oh, yeah, maybe. Let's see. I have some hockey trading cards, a post-it with some hair stuck to the edge, something that might be a roll aid. I don't know, it's just loose. Hurry, it's getting closer! I have some stamps. Oh, you know what? It's a cert. Peter well, that was awkward. Like a stranger trying to make conversation. Long line, huh? There's two of us. Reminds me of that Steinfeld episode, No Sauce for You, <laughs> right? You missed both of them. I can't believe that show's still on. It's not. I really like that Julia Richard Dreyfus, though. Ugh. Mr. Sanders, thank you for waiting. Here's the medicine for your brain injury. Oh, now I feel bad. Hello? Dad, Grandpa burned us with a curling iron, so we're at Farrell's Ice Cream. Would you come get us? I can't understand you. Stop calling me. Stupid foreigners. This group needs quagmire. Just like an Asian man needs facial hair to be taken seriously. I'm sorry, we're out of orange chicken. I don't believe you. He's right. We ran out two hours ago. You, I believe. ...to do something different and creative. Really? What about being a pilot? It's just not a challenge anymore. These days, the autopilot does everything. Can I get you anything, Captain? You can get me some of this, toots. Okay, I guess I'll just sit here and read a fucking magazine. What? Drugging a baby? My god, that's a worse idea than letting Bono pick out his own glasses. No, no, no. I need something way more ridiculous. Something that a cartoon villain would wear. Well, I do have some horn rims. Look, you're not hearing me. I need my glasses to look like something either not yet invented or from an ancient Egyptian tomb. And if possible, they should look as though they cost a million dollars, but also came free in a box of cereal. Perhaps I can be of help, Mr. Bono. You have somewhat of a square face, so to offset that, I recommend these frames, made for an intergalactic homosexual. Perfect. Ah, like Christopher Columbus. Guys, I know this has been a long voyage. Half of us have died of starvation. We all saw Billy rot out from the stomach. We saw Roger's face get eaten by a seagull. And who could forget when Dave's bum sealed shut until he filled with poo and died. But it's all gonna be worth it. Trust me, because the spices here are amazing. Our mattress still has the chalk outline from where my Uncle Leonard got killed by his third wife. She poured boiling grits on his privates and then shot him. You sleep on that? Well, I flipped it over. Don't be so hard on yourself, Peter. Your life's not over yet. Come on, it's not like I can go back to school at my age. I'll never be a doctor. The best I could hope for is a male nurse who's probably killing all his patients. Well, I'm going home. Griffin, you have another eight hours on your shift. Now, what about your patients? They all died with dignity, God bless them. But first, sad news from the Quahog Zoo, as a baby panda on loan from China is undergoing emergency treatment for what appears to be tater tot poisoning. The Chinese ambassador was quoted as saying, Ooh, tiger mom, egg foo young, practice your piano math. I don't know, probably not that. You're in for some pain, but when I'm done with you, you'll be a helpful dog, like one of them St. Bernards with a mini cask of brandy. Help! I've broken my leg! Okay, well, I have a scumbag's fancy drink. I know, it's great! And with all the time Brian is saving me, I've been able to spend more time working with my foundation that gives impoverished nations things they don't want or need. All right, let's get this stuff out fast, guys. These people have nothing. All right, everybody gets a hot dog toaster and a special zigzag brownie pan so that every brownie you bake has a chewy edge. We got 300,000 Harlequin costumes and 500,000 sets of stairs that a dog can use to get up on a bed. Well, looking around, I can see everybody looks kind of thirsty, so each of you gets a Crash Bandicoot video game. All right, I'll see you guys next month, because I got a shipment coming in of those realistic testicles you hang off the back of your truck. I love Peter. I'd follow him anywhere, except onto an elevator. He fat, man. Oh, Lois, I'm so glad you're here. I really need to pee.
Go ahead. I'll handle the kids. No, you need to come with me. The toilets are all like one foot off the ground, so I need to hold on to your arm while I lower myself down. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Boy, you guys sure packed a lot of stuff. Yeah, well, we're gonna be gone a week. Me, I travel light. Just two shirts, two pairs of pants, and the machine that does the work of my large intestine. We brought a machine that gives lowest orgasms. What is in here? The soap. The little tray the soap was on. And the sink. Where are you going? Oh, I'm meeting up with someone from my grinder app. Isn't that for anonymous gay hookups? No, no, no. This one's a way for guys who enjoy sandwiches to connect. You meatball freak? Uh-huh. All right, let's do this. Are you also married? Now, Meg, in order to get you into fighting shape, I want you to drink this glass of raw eggs. I don't see any yolks. Just drink it. Hello, white kids and Indian kid adopted by neighborhood gays. Quick announcement before we get started. Uh, this is the last call for chopped bunless hot dogs and ketchup. Last call for chopped bunless hot dogs and ketchup. Oh, Asher, let's get you one. Humpty, your sock is drooping. You should totally pull it up. Really? I, I can't see it. Yeah, yeah. Just lean a little further and get it. <laughs> you think you can bang Leslie and I'm not going to do anything about it? Look, there they are! Just wanted to wish you guys luck. Hey, I've always wondered, why the turtlenecks? Oh, these? Well, we like the look, it's drafty on stage, and we all have Aryan Nation tattoos on our necks. Break a leg! Ugh, Brian's not qualified to work at a hardware store. That'd be like having a timid clansman. I just think you should get out of town. I think it would be so great if you went back to where you came from. Okay, here goes nothing. Can I help you? Lemon squares? Keep the pan. He's gonna stay. Oh, fiddlesticks. Chris Griffin, we'll start with your candidate statement. <coughs> Come on, Stewie. Forget it. <coughs> ah! Damn it, that's enough! You've treated me horribly! What's our position on extended library hours? The library can suck my dick! <laughs> that was good! What else you got? Listen, Tiffany, you seem really great, and I need to come clean with you about something, because... Well, if I don't, there's two guys who are gonna tell you anyway. I have herpes. Really? Yeah. Well, that's okay. I mean, if we're careful about it, it shouldn't be an issue. And the truth is, I like you so much, I'd do anything to make this work. Oh my god, I'm so happy to hear that. I, I, I feel the same way. Oh, Tiffany, you know, you know, I know this is crazy and, like, super sudden, but... Will you... You're gonna die alone, you dick! Oh, thank god she didn't catch the kid I hired to replace Chris. Thank you for wearing the baseball cap forward. I, I know it's uncomfortable for you, but it, it, it really sold it. Hey, Chris, have you seen my frat? I left one in the hallway about an hour ago, and I think I left my keys in it. Oh, is that it? Ah, yes. And the mystery of the missing keys has been solved. Hi, Stewie. I love your house. Where are your servants? They're in the kitchen being groped by Arnold Schwarzenegger. May I offer you an iced tea? Shut the door! It's all right. I'm probably better off in my old school anyway. Well, I'm just glad everything's back to normal and we can... I know what he was doing, and I don't like it. I figured fancy guys like you only drink in hotels. The hotel threw me out. I used a mustard bottle to write Dallas Portland's a dick on the wall. Ah, oh, yeah, I did that once at a hotel, but it was pee and I didn't write anything. Look, Tom, Tom, before you do anything crazy, answer me one question. Why is it I have a house and you have an apartment? Yeah, maybe you should jump. If you or a loved one have been prescribed the drug Luxanol and experienced facial bloating, ear leakage, and spontaneous mouth bleeding, you may be entitled to a large cash settlement. Why is there never any programming for me? We're done! Cleveland, slam the door! Now lock all our city black person locks! <laughs> 
Our house is also a liquor store. Lois, know you here? No clue. I brought beer. I brought pot. Oh, and now I feel stupid. I brought pot. I brought acid. Oh, and now I feel stupid. I brought crystal meth. I brought ten rounds of chemotherapy. I think we may have gone too far. Now I feel bad for laughing at my dad when he went through this. Coward! I have found you! Ah! Oh my god, Stewie, you okay? Quick, somebody call an ambulance! This could need stitches. We don't want this to leave a scar. No, there's no time for an ambulance. We gotta take him to the hospital right away! Guys, I'm alright. I, I think Meg... Oh my god, he's delirious. He's talking nonsense. Quick, everybody in the car! Oh my god, look you guys, it's death! Hey, has anyone got a cell phone I can borrow? God's been paging me for like 20 minutes. Wait, you still use a pager? Yeah, well, we thought once we got Steve Jobs in heaven we'd all get iPhones, but... He never showed up. Wait a minute. You work with God? Oh, Death, we've been looking all over for that guy. Will you take us to him? Sure, but don't you mean her? <laughs> Look at your faces. Of course it's the dude. Come on, let's go. Well, as I understand it, Daddy's cheer squad had another failed dismount. We know that we are the B-E-S-T! Ah, Brittany, you dumb slut! I said I was gonna cradle out! How did you not hear me? That's right, Chris is my new heir. And now to show you my overwhelming love and affection. Okay, that's enough. You're not my wife. Anyway, I want you to have the money. You're the only person who understands this crazy world. Except for maybe Anne way too frank. Dear Diary, when this war is over, I'm gonna get a cucumber and work it into a pickle. And you can take that to the Bank of Berlin. Phew. Good thing no one's ever gonna read this. Look at this 1940s tampon. I know. And that's something that's how they used to do it back then. It's just sawdust in a burlap sack. You had to jump on it from a second floor window. We'll take it to Gross Will. Oh, here's me getting my first haircut. Here's me getting my 351st haircut. And here's when I couldn't take no more. I killed that barber. It's weird being here without Grandma. I keep thinking she's gonna walk through that door any minute. Oh, honey, I, I know, but I'm afraid she's dead. This is real life, not some magical fairy tale. And so... Okay, wait, 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 look, 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 look. There's... there's something about death that I didn't tell you before, because... kids aren't supposed to know about it till they get older. Ooh, an adult secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, when someone dies, uh, they... they actually do go somewhere. Uh, uh, heaven. Really? What's it like? Well, first of all, you can have any hairstyle you want instantly. You, you don't have to go through that awkward growing it out phase. But do you still get to go to the salon? Of course, you have to get it set. And everyone in heaven only speaks English. None of those mumbly, yelly languages. What about clicky, flemmy ones? No, none of those either. And every corner has a fire and ten fire engines putting it out. Do they have a person to ring the bells? No, they need someone to do that. Oh, that's my thing. All right, here I come. Well, hang on, you, you, you can't kill yourself, though, because, because they don't let you in if you do that. So Brody Jenner's not going to be there. What? He didn't kill himself. He didn't? Oh, no, so he's choosing to live as Brody Jenner? That's so sad. Well, I'm glad everything's back to normal. Peter, your mother's dead. Yeah, but at least she's alive. What are you talking about, Peter? Well, you see, Lois, the key in life is to lie to yourself about reality. Smile through everything. All the bad things, well, you just pile them away in a place that will come back one day in the form of, I don't know, rage? But everything's fine. I'll see you in bed. Oh, great. I'm gonna get killed by a cat. They'll never let me live this down in doggy heaven. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's that guy who got killed by a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. How'd you guys die? We bit kids! Woo! Biting kids! Yeah, unpettable! I miss biting kids. Ugh, the elevator's taken forever. I I'm just gonna use the stairs. There were two homeless people eating each other in there. 
Hey, I'd like to ride your ass into Jerusalem. Wow! There's something in it this year! Settle down, Meg. It's the upstairs bathroom trash. There's only one rule here at Peach Blossom Plantation, Stewie. Courtesy. Well, I got a confession to make, Daddy Johnson. I got a hankering for some mischief. Well, now that's in direct conflict with the rule. My rule is honesty. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. But it don't mean I doesn't love you, Daddy Johnson. Oh, Stewie, you done gone and buried your way into my heart like a field mouse. But I still gots to discipline you. Should I strip to my ankles, Daddy Johnson? I was just gonna give you a talking to, but yeah, just shoes and socks, Stewie. I like the South. We got different ways than they do up North, but it seems to work for everyone. Wow. A lot of people OD at these things. Oh, uh, yeah. This episode of Family Guy is brought to you by Macmillan Mass Grave Excavation Equipment. When you think mass graves, think Macmillan. It's a boy, Mrs. Quagmire. Ah, that's wonderful. How do you feel? Horny. Really horny. Could you put him back in and out a few times? I was born nine times that day. Don't worry, Lois. I'm gonna find that tricycle. I'll just have four to five beers to stop the shaking, and then I'll go outside. You know what, Peter? Maybe we can give you a hand. Yeah, we'll help you look. I'm in. All right, guys, let's solve this mystery. And you kids at home can help us solve the mystery, too. Just go to FamilyGuyKids.com. Aw, oh, it's just someone crapping in his hand. All right, now you gotta get in good with Heather's family. If her parents like you, she's gonna want to sleep with you. Mr. Garbage, I appreciate that I'm a guest in your home, but Barack Obama is still my president, and I'll be damned if I'm gonna sit here and let you talk about him like that. Shut up, Heather! I am talking to your father! And you, Mrs. Garbage, I'll thank you to stop sticking your foot in my crotch! And Jimmy Jr., just tell him you're gay! It's so obvious! Peter, is Chris still in bed? Oh, I hope he didn't take it too hard when you made him get rid of that doll. Oh, God! Good morning, everybody. Heather won't be having breakfast. She already had a big sausage. Oh, wait, so we do have sausage? Because I asked for sausage, and I was given bananas and applesauce. Why did we bring them to a shelter instead of an adoption agency? Oh, less paperwork. Yeah, this is for the best. I mean, I'm sure they'll be adopted. I know these is kind of unusual, but we'll take whatever we can get. Well, that's just like Cleveland, running off as soon as the bill arrives. Oh, he's paid off all your tabs. Well, that's just like Cleveland, always throwing money around. We now return to Sassy Sitcom Secretary in real life. Well, according to the research company, we need to find a way to make the product appeal more to men. Too bad there's no men working here. Uh, hey, Janine, come back here. Don't ever talk to your boss that way. I was I was just trying to be funny. This is a marketing firm. We're not here to tell jokes. You're fired. <laughs> Last week, she wanted me to pretend she was the head of the company because her parents were in town. Who does that? All right, there's no pudding, but there is a supermodel, and we're making out. Lucky dog. Wait a minute. There's a kid up here. Don't hold him like that. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. Your life could be worse. You could be a black... A black... Go ahead. A blanket. I'm just a stupid old blanket. What a lousy life this is. All right, you saved it. Right. What better place to find God than the birthplace of all of Western civilization's great religions and one really mean one? I had a feeling this is what this place would be like. Oh, God, Why it's is so there hot out. Parking downtown? Who gets married on a get Tuesday? Get these bad feet. Ailments. Oh, look, Joe's feeding them pennies. Oh, oh, somebody take a picture. I can't believe we didn't find God. Uh-oh, looks like the mob knew we were coming. It's him! Get him! Oh no! We're done for! No, we're not! I'm the fastest Jew in the world! Oh boy! 
I miss the old days when it was just a flaming bag of poop and a hurtful note. Hmm, huh, that's curious. I didn't realize your mother was a Holocaust survivor. My mother? Oh, no, that's, that's impossible. She's not Jewish. According to her birth certificate, she is. Oh, my God. Wow. Breast cancer's starting to look pretty good. Peter, I'm the one with the Jewish heritage, and I really don't want to make a big deal out of this. Leave it to a Jew to take all the fun out of being a Jew. Now listen up. I like the hat and I like the scarf, so we're doing this. And instead of lasting for one day, the oil in the lamp lasted for eight days. And that is why we celebrate Hanukkah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long before we play pin the eviction notice on the black guy's door? Now, does anyone have any questions? Yeah, I have a question. What are you going to do when Jesus comes back and puts a boot up your ass? Right, class. That's all for today's lesson. Now, everyone off to gym class. All right. Today, we're going to play soccer. Huh. That was easy. Oh, hang on. Before we do anything, I'd like to say a blessing over the candles, if I may. Now, bear with me. I haven't had much rehearsal time. <clears throat> Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Alam Asher Kiddishanu B'mitzvatov V'tzivanu L'had L'kneer Shel Yom Tov Can't we just eat? Ian, we could spend the rest of our lives here. It's perfect. Sounds good to me. Doesn't seem to be a thing wrong with this place. Hello, everybody. Jew! Oh, yeah, I forgot. This is a Disney universe. Oh, but look how shiny my buttons are here. Just push the... Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, I'll push the thing. I love you for all that you are. In spite of the fact that your people control a disproportionate amount of the world's wealth and in all likelihood are probably responsible for starting every major war since the dawn of time. Dude, again with this? What's your problem? Who's in the bush? Mind your own business, you stupid Jew. Well, the only mouse in this neighborhood is our innocent neighbor, Frank Maxwell. Comrade Mouskowitz, did you think you could run forever? Hiya, uh, I think you've got the wrong mouse. I'm just regular old Frank Maxwell, and I'm very late for work. Good day, ma'am. Oh, you killed him? That was not me. Someone else got to him first. Tough break, Jew mouse! Ha -ha! Hi, I'm Peter Griffin. Under parody law, in order to use someone else's character in an unlicensed fashion, we have to provide something called commentary. The commentary here is that Mickey Mouse hates Jews. This is my Jew flattening machine. It'll flatten any Jew. Simply climb behind the wheel, drive it towards a Jew, and flatten him. Could you also use it just to drive from place to place and stuff? It, it's a Jew flattening machine. It, it's not what it's designed for. But you could use it that way. Yeah, yeah, you could, yeah, yeah, you could, you could also use the Mona Lisa as a placemat. God! Excuse me, we're looking for a Mr. Goldman? Mr. Mort Goldman? He's a small business owner, tends to whine a lot, kind of a hypochondriac. Oh no, you can't put your hand back up after you've put it down. You know what, never mind. <laughs>